Uh, some of you I've known for a long time because we've worked on campaigns together. Uh, some of you I don't. So what I thought I'd do is start off by just telling you a little bit about my background and work I've been doing in the Senate, and then I'll go into why I'm running for Attorney General and some things I'd like to accomplish. Um, well, I grew up here in Northern Virginia, uh, just up the road in Loudoun County. I uh, graduated from Loudoun County Public Schools and then uh, I work in a combination of construction and restaurant jobs and some Pell Grants and student loans. I worked my way through college at UVA. Uh, a few years later, I went to University of Richmond Law School, earned my law degree there, and I uh, had a lot of opportunities after law school. Uh, I turned a lot of them down because I wanted to go back to my hometown in Leesburg where I had grown up to raise my family and establish my law practice. That was 23 years ago. Uh, I've had a general civil law practice that entire time. Uh, like many of you, I'm a business owner, so almost my whole professional life, I've owned my own firm, either individually or in partnership with others. Many of my clients are drawn from the business and professional community, so I know what business owners like you all uh, go through. Uh, my wife and I have two children. Our daughter is a second year student at UVA. Our son, Tim, is a second year or a junior at uh, Loudoun County High School. And uh, one thing we can uh, thank Ken Cuccinelli for is that now everybody knows how important the Attorney General is. Uh, I'm, I'm running for Attorney General to replace Ken Cuccinelli. And I think this election uh, is going to be about whether we continue to have an Attorney General like Ken Cuccinelli, because I know the two Republicans who are running to fill his, his shoes. Uh, they are just like him in terms of their voting records, what they stand for, what they believe in, and their priorities. And they, the only criticism I've heard either of them give Ken Cuccinelli is that he hadn't been extreme enough. Uh, and so I think this election is going to be about whether we're going to continue down that path uh, or take the kind of politics and ideology out of the office. And that's why I'm running. I want to take that kind of politics out of the office of Attorney General and put the law first. Uh, some of the things that I've worked on as a state senator have been very important to Virginians, and they reflect uh, the values that we all share. Uh, I have helped uh, lead the effort to take dangerous designer drugs off the shelves of convenience stores to protect our kids and young adults. We still have more work to do, uh, but it's, we've come a long way not only to punish those who would sell and manufacture drugs like that, but also to help educate parents and kids about the dangers. I led the effort to establish new laws to protect seniors and vulnerable adults from financial fraud and other types of scams. I've worked to strengthen penalties against acts of sexual and domestic violence, as well as come up with some innovative programs to protect victims from being further harmed and help prevent more domestic violence from happening. Those are some of the things that I've been working on. And then when the Senate, uh, when the Republicans in the Senate engineered their takeover, uh, I stood up and I fought against their attack on women's rights. I stood up against their attack on LGBT rights. I stood up against their attack on voting rights. I did all of those things. And this past session and the one before, I also was a champion for helping to implement the Affordable Care Act here in Virginia that will help hundreds of thousands of Virginians get health care that they currently can't afford. Those are some of the things that I've been working on. Those are some of the values that I've been standing up and fighting for. And those are the kinds of things that we need to have an attorney general fighting for, too. Uh, as, as your attorney general, uh, I will fight against extreme legislators who would restrict women's access to contraception and punish women for making their own private health care decisions. I am pro-choice, and I will always stand up and defend a woman's right to choose. I will continue to help implement the Affordable Care Act in Virginia. We need to have an attorney general who understands uh, the different workings between the Bureau of Insurance, uh, the Health Department, and who knows what the Affordable Care Act needs to look like in Virginia to make it effective, not somebody who's going to uh, try to sabotage it the way our current ones have been doing, let alone file suit against the President for trying to get health care. Uh, I will stand up to protect voting rights rather than uh, throw obstacles in the way. I will stand up to protect you and your families uh, by protecting uh, or, or trying to fight for universal background checks. Uh, I would have preferred Congress have acted, not only on universal background checks, but an assault weapons ban. And, but in the face of that, 
Uh, even though Congress didn't act, that means that we need to take steps to try to do it here at the state level. And also to help to expand access to uh, mental health services for both adults and adolescents. So that's, those are the things that I want to do as your Attorney General. And now real quick, just a minute or two uh, while I wrap up about how the campaign is going. Uh, I think things are going really well. We put out a, uh, an equality agenda a few weeks ago, laying out very specific things that the Attorney General can do to protect the rights of LGBT Virginians. We've gotten a lot of good attention and press from that. We've also rolled out a, a, a women's agenda with a group of 100 women all across the state uh, to, to call attention to what the Republicans tried to do and to protect issues that are important to them. And I have been in the forefront calling out the governor and the attorney general for their serious lapses in ethical judgment. Uh, in early April, April 11th, I called for a federal investigation of what was going on between Star Scientific, the governor, and the attorney general. And I will not hesitate to call them out on that. The reason we needed a, a, an independent investigation is because Virginians deserve to know the facts about what happened whether any public policy was influenced, and whether any laws were broken. And we need an attorney general with the courage who will stand up and lead in the face of those kinds of ethical lapses. Uh, thank you again for inviting us, and I look forward to answering your questions.